So we're at 5280, or C-O-R-R-C, -R -R and they're doing um, what's called MHIC, which is their yearly huge 10th scale and 12th scale on-road track stuff. So we are going to give it a peek real quick since we're here anyway. Way. Let's go this way. Hello. How's it going? Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you guys doing? We're checking the cars. Say hi. Where's your Mohawk today? No Mohawk. We're doing Handsome Day. Nice. Is this the vintage? Oh, he's up there racing, probably. Sick. Is there going to be anybody at Poppy Town, Littleton, you think? Uh, like nobody know. at all. Are you supposed to be over there? I'm going to be. Oh. Yeah, I'm we'll see. I'm going to pick up my new Bronco anyway. After work, or after I'm going to be here. I'm going to be done. Oh, you are? I'm not going to race. But... Oh, probably. These are cool cars, huh? Yes. So these are called vintage RC. They're like all old cars. Oh, yeah. uh, no. Yeah. 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 yeah they look, well, they're not really old, but they look old. Yeah. And then these are all touring cars. So are you trying to interview them now? Pretty cool. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. All right. This is the other side's pits. There's tons of people. This event's huge every year. Some of these cars are just amazing. Again, we're mostly the uh, smaller, smaller scale stuff, but these are definitely cool, huh, buddy? That's are robot cars. they robot cars? Yeah. Kind of. It's, they're kind of driving by themselves. Hey, look, there's Zach. So this is Zach's. These are called what? V, v, v what? VTA, Vintage uh, Trans Am. VTA, Vintage Trans Am. And they're 10th scale. And they're pretty bad. If I was going to do anything, I'd be doing the VTAs as well because I like classic cars. So. What up, you? Say hi, Reich. Hi. Say hello, Zach. Hi, Snow Zach. Hello, buddy. Is Colton up there? You're in the next race. You're at 27? There's a 12th scale guy. These are 10th scale guys. That's not right. Yeah, I don't think I've moved anybody around. All right, Billy Sider to the point. 31 3, 31 2 now. Sean Rippey 31 5, 31 7 for Brown. Wilcox 31 9. That all yellow car with the blue wing. He's going to be leading the way out here, 31 2. So, this is also where we're going to be holding PN Nationals, which is actually next week. And I'll, I'll have, have on the screen and a lot three, more coverage out of on PN Nationals since it's Mini Z, and that's what we focus on. <laughs> you are right, it is not mine, buddy. No. But we can look, just don't All touch. All right, guys, keep going. A couple more to finish out here. Did. Right now, Billy setting the pace with a 31-1, if I remember correctly. Oh, watch the left side. That is clear. Oh, come on, guys. Clean it up, please. Give yourself some space to work. Work it out. This is one of the residence right, pits. Next. 28, you're next. 20. Nine, get to tech, please. Yeah. Looks like this guy here is an right. F1. Rick, you gonna pick that? Okay. 
After this race, we're gonna take 30. Three. So this race every year pulls in between 160 to 220 no, people. Do. It's pretty impressive. You gotta do zero, 76. Just a wee bit in front of Mr. Hamlet. Forty seconds left in this one. I think the flying off the track and warm up didn't help. Just saying. So right now they're still just doing seating, which is basically where you run a three-minute lap or three minutes worth of laps, and they take your best three laps, and then they place you in qualifiers based on your Jump best three laps, essentially. Mike. What'd you find? What is that? It's a get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it's tr a trick, buddy. A trick? I think that money's a trick. Is it stuck? Down out front, 31 7 right now. It's still pretty early though. We'll give it a few more laps to sort itself out. So, on this car, he's got all of his weight set up. It's particularly for 50 50 weight distribution, so it's perfectly balanced in all aspects. You can just use a four way scale. And the batteries are 120 C, 5500. It's a 25.5 turn uh, Phantom V2, apparently. Bigger pinion. Yep. And again, this is one of the slower classes. It's vintage touring cars, so it's not super, super fast, but also very fun. They're all-wheel drive, which is interesting. I find that interesting for a vintage touring car. Or vintage Trans Am. Vintage Trans Am. Looks like they have some cool door prizes. It's an X-Ray 12 scale. Some tools and some bodies. Raffle items. So like little jets. Yeah, I didn't know that. Alright, I got everybody checked in rocket, so let's let's do a top three and second lap going down right now. Top three right now. Thank you. Watch straight. Straight away. Clear. You may get through that nicely. Ryan, he's going to show us his cool car. So this is a 21.5 GT 12 car. They do run uh, the smaller body. So this is a Porsche body here. Um, they run on a 1S battery, 21.5 motor, single cell, uh, just a hobby wing speed controller and a Savox servo. They do run foam tires on there. Those are tiny, huh? Yep. Yeah. Uh, all aluminum chassis. How's the motor. suspension work on that? So there's not really, you can see that the car will flex. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to make it. Are there actual springs anywhere yeah, on it? Yeah, so it, it pivots chassis? on the front. Okay. There are oh, side see. springs. Yep, yep. On there, and then there's also a dampener, which you can kind of see when you push the car down here. Gotcha. That's interesting. So. 
That's a cool setup. Is this your favorite one to run? They're all fun to run, I They're guess. They're all fun to run. Nice. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little event. Like I said, every year they get almost 200 or 200 plus people. And um, they've been doing it all week long. And in fact, there's people from Germany and uh, outside the US. And like I said, they've been there all week. And the actual races started today with the, uh, not the qualifiers, but the seed rounds. And um, yeah, so hopefully next week, the PN races for the Mini Z stuff will have a good turnout as well and uh, I'm excited to cover that too. So make sure you subscribe and check out next week's races. Um, it'll be cool, yeah.